We moved to North Carolina today. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm in North Carolina right now. I actually just got on a flight after the gym and flew to North Carolina. If you want to find me, come to North Carolina. I'm at Gold Gym, North Carolina. Come check me out. Come on! Come on, Chris! Come on, come on! And still, four times. Come on, let's go, let's go. Webster! What is up, YouTube? I feel like I forgot to say that on my last video. I don't remember saying that. But today's a good old day. We were just testing the new flavor of Bum Energy is being around soon. Secrets out, it's lemon lime, Sprite, fucking delicious, perfect little summer drink. It's like a refreshing lemon lime. What more could you ask for? But we were testing the combination because when you make it, you can go, you can do whatever combination you want essentially. But certain flavors, like citrus flavors, actually taste better with higher carbonation. So we were testing different levels, and I liked the really high one, but everyone kind of agreed it almost foamed up in your mouth because it was too high. So we went with like at the middle ground, but they were all high options. It was just the middle of the high options. So that's gonna be running later this week. So hopefully in a few weeks you guys will have access to buy that new flavor. We're trying to come out with a new flavor every couple of months right now because we're new and everybody likes variety. So just kind of perfecting the game, fine tuning everything, correcting the carbonation of previous runs in the past that we are understanding better now as we learn because we always learn along the way because we just jump in head first. But that's what we were doing this morning. Also very excited, we got a first delivery of equipment into the gym. So we might head over there and show you guys what's going on there. Pure Muscle Fitness is coming down and setting it up for me. So they've been helping me out. There's some sick pieces that are hard to find that we're building. But yeah, that's what's going on. We got a little shoot going on today. The guys are going to the beach to do everything. So busy day as usual. Sadly, Calvin's gonna be leaving us for four or five days. Uh, I'll be back Sunday. He'll be back Sunday, so like four days, but yeah, we're gonna film on our back day today, actually. Not our, I don't know what's going on, but back day today. Train, gym, energy drinks, life is good, chilling. So yeah, stay tuned for the video. We'll see you guys soon. All right, so here we are, first delivery. Guys, just came by with a truckload today and already a lot of dope shit. Stuff that I'm very excited to use. This specific machine right here was found in someone's basement in Toronto. I fucking love this. This is a roller fly machine. It like forces you to actually like contract from your elbows rather than like a pec deck where you're holding with your arms and you can cheat a bit. I got the OG Dorian Gates Nautilus Pullover that is in like prime condition. The whole chain jib and everything. Got a pit shark, some hack flush, a few panada pieces, some Atlantis, good old Navy stuff. Lots of old shit, new shit, all the above. So literally just building the fucking dream in here. And I am a very, very fucking excited for this. Everyone's like dream to have their own gym and I like didn't think I'd get one because I didn't think I would ever want to run a gym because I knew a lot of hell went into it and you don't really make a lot of money for it. But I'm super grateful right now to be in the opportunity to be able to build it for myself and literally just like use it for content and prepping for an Olympia. So I think this is gonna be something that really like fucking puts me on a straight focus drive this year at the Olympia. Come in here and have good workouts. The other day, Revive, the power went out, lights were out, and I went up there, trained by myself in the dark, and I just had such a good workout, because sometimes I just hate being around a lot of people, and super pumped for this. Also, content's gonna be a lot better, because I'm just better at talking when there's not fucking 50 people around me in a gym or worried about music, copyright, and all that shit. So, yeah, this is gonna be a home of a lot of YouTube videos to come, a lot of content to come. We're gonna paint the walls, paint the roof, put flooring down, Pure Muscles literally helping me with all that, so I'll kinda like bring you guys along the journey of building at the gym should be done in a few weeks honestly they're super quick i guess so super pumped excited dreams do come true there's a lot of things i've wanted in my life but fucking a gym is just one of those things where you come here you shut off you put everything away and just kill yourself in the gym to have my own space now super pumped the only thing i'm worried about is my neighbors getting mad at me when i'm blasting music but it is what it is hopefully i'll be here at 5 p.m and they'll be gone or they'll just get mad at me and i'll be like what can't hear you and then i'll tune them out 
but this is the place. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along building it, hopefully done soon. We're gonna be, need some fans in here because there's no fucking AC. It's gonna be dripping sweat, hot workouts, grungy as fuck, but that's what we do. So see you guys later, gotta go work out. I'll see you guys at the gym. All right, back day it is here at the old Revive Gym. Not too busy right now, so hopefully it doesn't pick up and get crazy, but back day, nothing secret going on. I've got nothing else to say. I warmed up, Calvin showed up, perfect timing, so set numero uno. Went really heavy on the first set. Just tried to rip it down as hard as I could and then control the negative as much as I could. Second set, dropped the weight. I tried to make it so difficult I get the same amount of reps, so I paused the first like five reps in the squeeze, controlled it up, and then ripped the second half of the set. So, last already feeling pumped. My eyes are already twitching. I don't know if you guys can ever see that, but it's twitching every day. Probably because I'm taking fucking 10 grams of beta alanine every workout, but it's okay. I fucking hate this movement so much. That's why you gotta get better at it. This movement took me two years to get good at it. Like really good at it. It took me like four months to get good enough at it. But I swear to God, this is the biggest, smallest variable I think is exercise selection and growth. It was more so like training effectively, my muscle connection and everything else. But 2019 to 2020, the only exercise that really changed in my back training, my back blew up. So I've been loving it ever since. that if you're doing bent over row, you put one plate on each side at a time, so two plates, 
every set, so warming up, I put two sets on a time on this. Fuck, no need for one. I hit two, by weigh 205 pounds this year. I'll move to open.
Alright, finishing up this workout. Good underhand grip pull down machine because sometimes the pull down bar breaks my wrist working on the mobility. So I'm doing 10 sets of superset bicep curls with lat pullovers. Just going back and forth. 10 reps ish until I die. So hopefully getting 100 reps of each and then that's it. So over bicep to the in the back there. Call it a day. For almost 10 days now, I'm starting to, starting to shrivel away, starting to die, living in chaos. She's coming back with puds in tomorrow, so life is good. This is how I cook. Does that look good? No? Don't worry, season it very well. Put a little salt on. And then avocado oil. Voila. Alright, so yeah, Courtney's been out of town, so I've been having to cook for myself. I've had a bunch of Mega Fit and I'm down to one meal right now and I'm saving it for tomorrow because I have to go pick up from the airport. I'm trying to be prepared for that. So, I had to cook bison. Don't know where the lid is to the Tupperware. So I had to put a little more foil on, again, losing my mind. Um, I cooked potatoes too though, fucking living the dream right now. So post-workout meal, a bunch of potatoes and a bunch of bison. About 240 grams of bison, like 250 grams of baby potatoes in there. Eat that up, make some fish for later tonight. Also been eating tuna, like every other day. A meal of this, fucking delicious to be honest. I'm gonna have to give you guys a full day of eating when Calvin is back, because I'm actually eating a little different than I normally do. I'm trying to cut back on chicken a little bit, but I'll get into that in my full day of eating. But making this, Calvin and Luna could eat a lot of red meat, but I only have bison and rice right now, so. Yeah, we're gonna have a steak. What? It's probably gonna have a steak we made last night. Or I have steak. Red meat it is. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat this up and eat it, so I just need ketchup, because ketchup is life. We moved to North Carolina today. What? We moved to North Carolina today. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm in North Carolina right now. I actually just got on a flight after the gym and flew to North Carolina, so here we are. But they have Annie's ketchup in North Carolina too, so. All good, don't worry. If you want to find me, come to North Carolina. I'm at Gold Gym, North Carolina. Come check me out.
Oh, yeah. I don't know. There's the man with fish. It's not that bad. Bad hair day too. Alright, that's gonna be wrap on today's video. I think I'm gonna start doing this thing. I didn't tell Kevin this, but I'm gonna I don't wanna request because I don't want all my comments to be questions. But I'm gonna start going through comments and questions on YouTube or whatever, and I'm gonna try and gather like three questions people ask me because they ask me a lot of questions, and I'm gonna answer them at the beginning or end of my YouTube videos just to like involve the comment section and everything going forward and when I don't know how to outro that's going to be how I'm going to outro it so that's what I'm going to do from now on that doesn't mean bombard me with questions I'm just going to look for random ones and pull them up I'm only going to do three a video we're still going to do Q&A's every now and then but I'm just going to add that little twist to some YouTube videos because I saw someone else do it and I was like that's a good idea I'm going to steal that idea from you I don't know who did it but it was a long time ago in my brain I'm going to do it but yeah that's what's going on fucking just staring at this fish right now I just cannot wait to eat it but you know that's the glorious days of a bodybuilder. I love eating white fish. I actually am enjoying white fish. So I should manifest that I enjoy it forever because once I eat something for a while, I stop liking it. <sighs> but that being said, I got a shower. I'm fucking sweaty. Comes eating some fucking garlic filled. <coughs> kind of smells good. It smells heavy though. I can just. Yeah, I already stopped eating it. Yeah, I just so had the chicken and the cauliflower, not the steak. Yeah, that was some creamy shit. But Courtney gets back tomorrow, and Pudson comes back tomorrow, and then Kelvin leaves tomorrow. So I get like five days of freedom, no videos, and then we're coming back strong afterwards. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.